So this is a patient with cerebral palsy who has spasticity in lower extremity, uh, classically involving adductor uh, and hamstring muscles. Adductors will result in uh, excessive adduction of the legs, causing difficulty cleaning between the legs and repeated infections and even skin ulcerations and erosion. So using EMG guidance, I'm injecting the left leg first. On the left leg, I'm trying to isolate the uh, adductor muscle. Uh, the large adductor muscle which is very high and very medial going all the way up so a proper exposure and positioning is very important once you palpate uh, the spastic adductor muscle then you go right into the belly to get the relief of um, to get the Botox injection given the dose typically uh, for starting dose is anywhere from 20 to 30 units per uh, injection site and then you anywhere from 1 to 3 injection sites on each adductor muscle uh, as a starting dose and then you ad adjust the dose from there based on patient's response. Uh, if you're not doing EMG guidance then it's possible that you would need a much higher uh, dose uh, because of missing the muscle or being around the muscle. Now a lot of time when you're doing this adductor muscle and if the leg is very tight and you cannot open the two legs out and cannot feel the adductor properly, you are going by your best anatomical guess on where the injections to be done. With EMG, it is easy to know for sure that you have hit the muscle and you're not around it. But if you if you are not using EMG or sometimes even with EMG, if you're not getting a clear signal, it may be that you are somewhere between hamstrings and adductor over there and the relief will affect both adductor and hamstring, which is just fine. Now, hamstring muscle injections classically are done with a patient lying prone on their belly and it's much easier to do that way. But given that primary complaint of this patient was adduction with inability to open the legs out, doing uh, this approach with more medial hamstring injections is also reasonable because hamstrings will cause not e not only excessive knee flexion, it will can cause also adduction, especially if the medial heads or medial side is involved. The injections are typically done on both sides for adductors. Uh, because adductor spasm classically involves both sides. However, a unilateral injection can be done if it's a post-stroke adductor spasticity, which is uncommon. Uh, more commonly, adductor spasticity is seen in symmetric diseases such as hereditary spastic paraplegia or in uh, post uh, st uh, or post cerebral palsy kids with scissoring or crossing of the legs. Um, that can even be seen if the patients are active, able to stand or walk, where they will have a scissoring gait. Um, however, it is common for me to s appreciate or try to make a judgment if one side is more spastic than the other. And if I have that sense, then I might increase the dose on the worse side and reduce the dose on the uh, better side. So it may be that the injections are given on both sides but are asymmetric. Uh, but if you have no reason to believe that one side is worse than the other, then you can give an equal dosing. Or if you're not sure, then you can start with an equal dosing and then adjust from there onwards. That is, increase the dose on the side you didn't see any clear response.